What's going on everybody, it's Game Unboxing Reviews here, and welcome back to another LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 video! So, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the Tim Drake version of Robin using the in-game customizer. So, without further ado, let's get to it! Alright, so obviously the first thing you're going to do is come to the character customizer, which is in Avengers Mansion. Then you want to come all the way over here and choose a brand new character slot. You can see I've already made Deadpool, Anti-Venom, Hellboy, Colossus, the Symbio Agony. We also made Namor, Alex Mercer from the prototype games. And now, of course, we're going to be making Robin, the Tim Drake version of Robin. Because that is the Robin I thought came out the best. You know, because I, I tried a lot of different versions of Robin, and basically I settled on the one that I thought looked the coolest in the game. You know, it looked the most accurate. So we're going with Tim Drake, basically. Right, so the head that I settled on is Chipmunk Hunk. Now, I know the mask is white. You wish it was black or green or anything like that, but unfortunately, there's nothing like that that looks that good, basically. I mean, you can see there's the Gorgon one, but you have a beard. There is uh, this one. But, you know, just looks kind of silly, like for Robin at least, uh, for Karnak. Uh, there's there's a lot, you know, there's lots of different options. You could use that one, Red Wolf, that's pretty cool. But we're just going to stick with this one because I think it turned out pretty good. Now for the hair, we're going to go with Wavy. And then for the body, there's a lot of different bodies you could choose from for this, to be honest. I feel like there's a lot of things you can work with. I think we'll go with Daredevil. Um, I think Daredevil looks pretty good. Because it's got the belt and everything. But you could also go with maybe this one. Or there's also this one. And Spider-Man's is down here somewhere. You could go with that, maybe. But we're going to settle with Daredevils. Because I think Daredevils looks the best. At least for this build. There we go. Uh, for the arms, we're going to make them green. For the gloves, we're going to make them black. For the hips, we're going to make them uh, red, I believe. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think it's red. And then the legs are green. Nice. And then we're going to give him a yellow cape. There's two... Well, there's three yellows, actually. There's like a golden one, which doesn't look very nice. And there's this one and this one. I think we'll go with that one because that's the brightest. Yeah, this one right here. This is this is the Robin cape. Very, very nice. I like it. I think he looks cool. Looks like Robin to me. Yeah. All right, now we're going to move on to the abilities. So I've been having a little more fun with uh, the Batman, you know, DC side of the characters because I've been thinking there's more than just fire and ice abilities and things, and you could kind of use the powers as a way of making gadgets. So I thought you could maybe make like a sonar gadget, which I'll show you guys how to do in a little bit. Right, so for the passive abilities, we're gonna have tracking, dig, no rune tracing, no super strength, fix it. Uh, we're not gonna have vine cut or deflect or crack Lego walls or mind control or magic, techno access, wall climbing, grapple. So just to be sure, so we got grapple, wall climbing, techno access, fix it tracking and dig now for square we're just gonna have attacking you know we're fighting for hold square well we could have target lunge you know just so you can charge towards people for circle uh, well for tap circle we're gonna have stealth so you can turn invisible and you know just to get past cameras and all that kind of stuff and then for hold circle we're gonna have an explosion attack and this is what I did right so there are a few different explosion attacks you can choose from I mean, there's that one. The shouting one, which is Black Bolts. The scream, which I used for Jean Grey. But this is the one that I like that I think suits Robin. Because it doesn't sound like a power. It sounds more like a gadget, which I believe Quake uses. So it works there as well. Um, you know, because Quake from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's not the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. version. It's the comic book version. But she uses that effect, I think, uh, in the game. But if we choose that ability and we go over sonar explosion, it's less like a power now, it's more like a gadget, so it's like a sonar explosion that allows him to destroy Lego glass objects, you know, stuff like that. So I think that's quite cool. So we'll have that. And then you can choose the color, you could have red, green. I would choose something that just kind of matches his suit, I guess. Mm. Or maybe just blue, because, I don't know, I feel like <laughs> gadgets can be 
gadgets kind of give off a, a blue effect, I guess. If you were going to give it an effect, I would give it maybe blue. Or you could go white. I think we'll go with blue. Yeah, blue seems cool because it's more like a, a gadget like color, if you know what I mean. Now then, so we've done. Ta yeah, we've done tap circle because that is stealth. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. So that is the passive, square, and circle abilities done. Now we're going to move on to the X button. So on hold X, no hyper jump. He's not got superpowers. But we are going to have a web swing. Or not. It depends on what you guys want. If you don't want him to be able to web swing, if you'd rather he was different to the Batman I made, you could do a, a double jump, which totally works. And he does like a front flip, which is very nice. But we're going to go with web swing because I think it's just cooler to be able to swing around with Robin because it looks pretty awesome. And we're going to go with web style 4 like we did with uh, Batman. And then we're going to make it dark gray. Or dark black, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> dark black. You know what I mean. It's uh, it's that color at the top. But just one more time. There you go. You could also make it um, brown as well for a rope. Or that one. But we'll just go with uh, this one right here. This color. There you go. Or you could go with that one. But no, we'll go with this one. <laughs> right. So, I think he looks pretty awesome. Now, what we're going to do is move on into the passive traits. So, for the health, I just give him red. Health type, standard. Voice, just any voice. Movement speed, default. Ra target reticle, we will go with this one. Oh, yeah, definitely that one. Look at it. Green and red. Come on. That is destined for Robin. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, I mean, if you guys want to give him a staff, you can do that if you want to. It's just, I'll show you guys now what the staff looks like. But to me, it just, he doesn't fight with a staff very well, so I don't like to give him a staff. You could give him something else if you want to, but I'm happy with what I've given him. Now, of course, we're going to name him. So, can we put Robin Tim Drake? Will that fit? Let's see. Let's see if that actually fits. So, if we put Robin and then do that... And then Tim Drake. I bet this doesn't fit. Tim Drack. <laughs> Tim Drack. Uh, okay. Right, we'll just put Robin. Tim Drack. So close. So close. Right. Robin. There, nice. And then background, we'll just do the city. And there you go. That is my custom-made Robin made in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. I think Tim looks pretty cool. You know, the mask was the one thing that was bothering me and uh, kind of making me not want to make this video because I just thought he didn't look that very accurate. But to be honest, the mask has grown on me. I think he looks pretty cool. I'm happy with it. Now, of course, what we're going to do is drop Robin into the Chronopolis hub world and see just what he can do. And here he is. This is, of course, my custom-made Robin, Tim Drake, in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. And just get a look at him here. I think he looks pretty awesome. I'm quite happy with this. The only thing I would really change is the mask, but you can't change that. So it's the best you can do, really. But I like it. Overall, he looks really cool. And let me just stand him next to the Batman, which I've revived. One of the very first characters I made in LEGO Marvel 2. Oh, man. Look at these two together. Oh, it looks so good. Yes, Batman and Robin together, fighting crime. So cool. All right, so what can Robin do? Well, obviously, let's see if we can go over here and get some, you know, objects to attack. So we gave him the charge attack, which I think looks cool. Oh, look at that target. That just fits Robin perfectly. Yes. There you go. So you can target and run towards things because I think that makes sense. Uh, and then he can punch as well. And you can do the uh, jump attack as well, which we'll do over here. I always take it out on these snowmen, these poor defenseless snowmen. There you go. And I also gave him the sonar weapon, which I've just given Batman as well. I gave him a different version. Uh, you hold it down and his is less uh, visible. And this one is blue. So, yeah, it's just a cool little gadget to give him. And of course, he can also rope swing, which I think makes sense because it's like he's using his grapple. So I figured if Batman could do it, why not uh, Robin? So, and I mean, come on, look at that. That's awesome seeing Robin swinging through the city like that. Yes. And like I said with all my characters, when you're playing as them from the back, like a third person game, you know, you always do. It looks like Robin. Can't even tell it's not Robin. Looks like a mod, which it's not. <laughs> 
Right. Let's uh, take care of these guys. I know some people have also said I could have given Batman and I guess Robin as well, like uh, boomerangs and stuff, but unfortunately those aren't in the customizer. Maybe next time. That'd be nice. And took care of him. Alright, that's it. Cool, let's keep moving, Batman. Da -na 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 Robin! Whoa, Robin. And he can also climb walls as well. Because I think there was a gadget in Lego Batman, one of the Lego Batman games, where he climbed walls. So I think that's a nice little reference to that. There should be some bad guys up here, right? No? Oh, okay. Noir. Got to be some in Noir. Come on, Robin. There's got to be some bad guys in Noir. How cool is he going to look here, though? I bet he looks awesome. Oh, yeah. Very, very dark colors, but still. Ooh, hang on. Just as we left, the enemies started spawning in. Are you kidding me? All right, let's go after them. Come on. Robin, away. Yes. Hello. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to beat you up. Go on, Batman. Get him. We'll use the sonar ability here. Does it not attack? Oh, it does attack. Sweet. So you can use the sonar ability against them. Very nice. All right, and we can take care of this guy as well. There we go. Awesome. All right, that's all those robots Someone done for. Their way to the top of my best heroes list. Oh, thank you. We're not even from this universe. <laughs> kind of makes sense, doesn't it, having Batman and Robin in this game? Because it's like it's other realities coming together in Kang's uh, Chronopolis. So it works in a way. It's cool just having Robin and Batman in it. I'm very happy with the way Batman turned out, and seeing this Robin next to him, I mean, it makes me like this Robin more. I know the mask isn't black, but it still looks super cool, and super official too. Whoa. Come on, Tim. I know there's a lot of requests for Nightwing and people like that as well. I'll see if I can make them. They might have to have, you know, the, the same face as Robin. Because, like I said, there isn't a black mask like that. So, they might have to look similar as in just the face. But I should be able to make the red outfit for Nightwing. Not the blue one. I don't think the blue one will be possible. But the red one, probably. Ah, here's some bad guys. Take care of them. Whoa. Excuse me. Thank you. I got you now. Take that. Yes, and then pick him up, and then we're going to throw him into that lamppost. <laughs> nice. Or the light, or whatever. Real doll. Thank you, I guess. Yeah, I think the Daredevil torso works really well here. Definitely. In this universe, you could pretend that uh, Daredevil is... He's like... Hmm. You know, that Robin is, is, Robin is Daredevil's sidekick. Cost. Now, nah, let's go back to Batman. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> I don't want that. All right. Uh, where's where's Robin? I mean, Batman, sorry. There he is. All right. Nice. I mean, just look at these two together. Come on. That's just so cool, man. Love it. Swinging through Halla now, I believe. Yes, the Cree homeworld. Hey, let's go to the Old West with Robin. That sounds like fun. If your home was lost or Whoa. Whoa. You could, like I said, you don't have to give Robin the grapple. But look how much fun I'm having with him is, with the grapple. I mean, it works. It works really well. And it just looks cool, man. It looks so cool. I love it. Ah, right. I'm gonna use my sonar ability on you all. No, Batman, stay away. No. Okay, this time. Yes! Oh, he only took care of one. Oh, I sorry, sorry, Batman. I accidentally punched Batman there. My bad. Great job. Robin B V Batman. Robin wins. Or does he? I was in Egypt the other day. And it took forever. Okay, enough of that. You two, where I was cut it out. Be friends. Thinking I was saying hello to her or something. I don't know. 
Wee! Wee! I love the swinging in this game. It is so much fun. I think it's because the world is so massive. It's just fun to swing around a huge, weird-looking world. A weird, but amazing and lovely-looking world. I love this world. I love Chronopolis. I've heard some complaints about it recently, and I, 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 I get it. You know, not everyone uh, likes everything, but I personally love it. I don't understand the, uh, the, uh, you know, the negative comments towards Chronopolis. I like it. I really, really do. And I mean, this game is probably my favorite LEGO game to date. The character creator alone just adds unlimited hours of replayability. I mean, look at this. We're playing as Batman and Robin in the Old West. Who would have thought it? Who would have thought it? Alright, let's go down here. There's some bad guys over here. Oh boy. Evening, gentlemen. Real curly wolf here. I'm gonna throw you off the edge if I can. I don't think. Oh no! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh boy. We got ourselves Settle down. A real curly wolf, not a curly wolf. Alright. You're coming with me. There we go. You. Looks like I get to spend another day above snakes. Thanks. And just because I like this edition so much, here's here's Batman using his sonar attack that I gave him. That I, which wasn't in the video, I don't think. There you go. Cool. So it's it's a fun way of Basically, look at the powers and try to see if you can make an, a gadget out of it with the different effects and colors and, uh, uh, you know, attacks. Like, what they actually, what their attack damage is. Is it fire? Is it a sonar? I think that power works good for a sonar. Alright, let's get out of the Old West and head on over to Xandar. If we can get out of here. There we go. I think the colors look really nice. The, the green, the red, the yellow, it just, it really fits. I, I was going to make the red and black outfit, but I just think this one looks so much nicer in the game. It just looks really cool. Alright. Almost there. Woo! Alright, here we go. Let's take care of these bad guys. You have a shield and you're so weak! I'm gonna throw him into him. Ready? What? Oh no. Come on. I'm gonna attack you this time. Aha! Got you that time! Nice! Alright. Let's uh... I just punch him. Nice job, Robin. Good job. Like there's some sort of secret hidden inside. I just wanna... Look at that. It's just cool seeing Robin hanging like that. Alright, let's keep going. Heading through Chronopolis. We'll head on over to uh, Nueva York. That should be fun, seeing Robin in the future. Watch the lava. It's crazy how good you can make these Batman and Robin custom characters in this game. I mean, there's a lot of characters I make and I'm like, yeah, they look pretty good. But Robin and Batman especially, and Superman as well, I was like, wow, you can make them look really good. Which is just crazy. Absolute craziness. Yeah, oh, he looks cool here. This is perfect because it's got all these buildings to swing from. You can jump onto that for some reason. <laughs> right, there should be some bad guys over here. Evening, evildoers. I'm going to take you all out in one hit. What? Come on. This time. This time, this time, this time. Yes! Take that! Don't mess with Robin. Close call. Thanks. You're very welcome. All in a day's work. 
rubbing away. There's some shady kidnapping rackets going on down in the maintenance. Do do Swing. Swing up. Yeah, there we go. I love Nueva York. It's one of the most fun places to swing around in the game. Just because there's a lot of stuff to attach to. <laughs> All right, we'll head on over to uh, medieval England, see if there's any bad guys there. Look back around to Manhattan, and then we'll call it a day. What I've really enjoyed showcasing Robin, because I know he's been one of the characters people really wanted to see, and I just thought it wouldn't be possible. Like, I just think he was one of the characters I was like, I don't think I can make Robin. I don't know if... Because, you know, you can request a character, and I'll try to make them. I can't guarantee I will. But sometimes, you know, yeah, sometimes people request a character and it's just not possible to make. And Robin was one of them I thought would be one of those characters. But no, you could make a pretty decent Robin, which is great. Because Robin is awesome. Who doesn't want to play as him? I think it's high time Robin uh, came back in the movies already. Like, come on. Whoa, what the heck? That dude just just fell out of Chronopolis. Just gonna mosey on over here now. Come on, Batman. Let's pretend we didn't see anything. <laughs> that might be the work of Darkseid. Or Brainiac, or one of those oh, creepy dudes. This is harder than it looks, Governor. Verily, I hasp the most frightful stitch. I wish you'd get, you know, that stitch sorted out. You always have the most frightful stitch. Alright. Is there no more bad guys? Come on. There's gotta be some more. Or they, they run and hide because Robin is kicking their butt? Is that why? If that is so, then uh, Robin, you've done a good job today. Oh, where's the bad guys at? Come on. If we just wait a few seconds, some more might spawn in. Boom. Sonar attack. Ow. Come on, Wakanda usually has some bad guys, right? Where are they all at? Have I defeated everyone in the game? Please tell me that's not a thing you can do. That was the one thing... One of the things that disappointed me about the Amazing Spider-Man 2 game. I'm certain that's not... A yeah, there you go. See? They're spawning now. Random crimes don't disappear in this game. Um, but that was one of the things that I that I didn't like about uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 game. Was the fact that when you, you know... when you, Oh, no. It was the first game, sorry. When you beat the game, you could you do all the random crimes and that's it. And they were gone. And that was really irritating. And then we all wanted them to be unlimited in Amazing Spider-Man 2, and they were, but they also made it a punishment when you didn't do them. And that's like, that's not how it should be. What it should be is, you should have random crimes, they should be unlimited, and they should never disappear, but if the player chooses to ignore them, they can, and they shouldn't have any consequences for doing so. Especially drones going after them and trying to kill them all the time. That is extremely annoying. Ah! Where, where did he go? Where'd that dude go? Okay. Uh, there's something wrong with that guy. He's like, he keeps disappearing. I'm gonna head on back to Manhattan now because it doesn't seem like there's any more enemies for us to fight. Whoa. Whoa. And you can swim underwater with Robin as well. I haven't shown that. There you go. Robin swimming underwater. Pretty cool. I showed uh, Lumiria in the Namor video, so we won't we won't head to Lumiria now. I've shown quite a lot of that in the Namor one, which was appropriate, obviously. I wanted to actually fight a lot of crime, but to be honest, there hasn't been much crime this episode, has there? Which is uh, a bit weird. Sometimes there's crime around Man Thing Swamp, like uh, prisoners. And stuff like that, so let's see if there's anyone over here. Uh, yeah, it's usually around here, but no. No crime. Weird. 
It's probably because what you have to do is once you've defeated enough crime, you know, they start spawning in different areas. And if you want them to kind of spawn in the right area again, you kind of got to not restart the game, but like leave the open world and then come back. Oh, no, never mind. Here they are. It's the mummies we were fighting at the beginning. There's a crime happening near you. Can you see it? Yes, I can. Come on. Yeah, sonar attack. Nice. Don't mess with Robin's gadgets. Boom! Nice final hit, Robin. Alright, cool. Alright, guys, so I think that'll do it for this video. Let me just head on back to Avengers Mansion. And there we go. Almost there. Nice. Alright guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it because this was a challenge, you know? I really didn't think it would be possible to make Robin in the game, but to be honest, if you just put your mind to it and really look at all the pieces that are available, you can kind of come up with almost anything. There are some things that you guys have requested that don't seem like they're going to be possible unfortunately but there are things that are possible as well and whatever is possible i will definitely be trying to make as many things as possible anyway guys i want to thank you very much for watching stay tuned for lots more videos real soon and as always please remember to like comment and subscribe